even Sean's given a hard run. The, the tone of the lobby changed as well when Sinnoh got eliminated. <laughs> yes. Right? Once people saw that pop up in the elimination feed, they knew. They knew that there was going to be an opportunity because you get a player like that out of the fight and there's going to be free reign. There's going to be movement to be had. But it was really the real winner of that match was the hill. <laughs> it was the hill. Because once that hill started moving and the storm started creeping forward, you knew that so many players were looking up and they're like, ah, crap. <laughs> I got to have as, to deal with that. As too. Sundown likes to say, good old man Mountain Always. claims another. Always <laughs> gets his target. Head. Always gets his target. That was a good one, folks. Uh, we're probably going to get some words from our winner in a little bit. They're probably getting themselves all collected. I think we all kind of need to collect ourselves after that one. I thought Jacob lost that, man. Because when he lost the high ground, I, I'm shocked that the, the wall didn't get placed in front. But probably felt like he had that angle. He was going to get clipped. Yeah, Cloak C really thought that he had the leverage being that he just came over the mountain. He knew uh, Cloak C could not build in those, uh, or Jacob, excuse me, couldn't build in those final moments. He had zero builds. When you see that kind of, you know, you read the player and they're, they're not doing any builds like that. You're like, oh, I'm good. You know, I came up a couple of years. I should be okay. Yeah. But he was at the top of the ramp. It didn't really matter where he was. Regardless of being that he didn't protect himself. Yeah, you have to give yourself that wall there so that you don't get punished by those combat shotguns, which we mentioned so many times. That thing has a ton of range. Yes. He was playing that one from that vent, like close to mid-range, and it will hit you like a hammer for a lot of damage. Before you know it, you're out of the game. You're back in the lobby. Or you're going back to catering, you know? So... What a great matchup that was. Uh, great moments coming through. Also, I believe it was Jacob that had that fight at uh, the John Wick House. Yes. Uh, against Ferris. Yeah, it was it was a long, uh, exaggerated That's battle. Storyline right so there, close. people. Yeah, he was nearly taken out at the start of the game. W what a comeback story for him right here. Yeah. All the way from the, the furthest you can go east on the map here. One of the furthest points from there to, to take it all the way to the end game and find great. himself the victory royale. That's a great game. That's his highlight moment. That's what you travel to New York City for right there. That's for sure. <laughs> it all could have fell to pieces at that moment in time over uh, by Paradise Palms by the, by the John Wick house. And then managing to keep his cool at the crazy moments there. Great plays. And I think that everyone thoroughly entertained with that. Oh, we have two more games, though. They're going to be coming up. Games three and four. We're going to determine who the winner is. And I think we're waiting right now to get some words from our winner. Also, we'll get the updated standings to see where we are currently. And I have been informed that we do have an interview. But it's not just with Jacob. It's actually going to be with Jacob and the two people that he took out, Tifu and Cloak. Pooks, talk to me. Thank you so much, GB. I am down here on the floor. I have a bunch of people around here. Who do we have? We have TQ, we have Foxy and Jacob. Our final three in the last game. Oh my goodness. TQ, walk me through those final moments. Do you mind? Basically, I was in the storm and I had no health the entire game. I had about 40 minutes, but uh, uh, I don't know. I just got stuck in the storm. Float trapped me, helped me in the storm, dude. But he got clapped by Jacob, so it's all good. A little bit of animosity. We're gonna go over to this side here. Well, I gotta ask, what do you what do you attribute to that? You had high ground over Jacob. What happened? I thought the zone it was pulled down the hill, but it was still pulling up the hill, so I didn't wall off my back and I got a free shot and died. You were eliminated, exactly. Now, Jacob, you took both of these guys out. You won that game. Congratulations. Bye. How does it feel to take out two of the biggest competitors on the biggest stage in the world? To be honest, I feel amazing. And when I was fighting with Clozy, I was so stressed, but because I haven't got a match, yeah. But Clozy, fortunately, didn't put the wall behind him, and I did it. So you capitalized on Cloaksy's indiscretion there. But you know what? They're all friends. We can all get a handshake around here. We'll work on that. But thank you guys so much. Best of luck in your next games, Golden Boy. What do you think of these guys? Bringing, bringing uh, I, I think that the, the important thing to, to note here was that you, you're in those moments where you have to pay attention to where that circle is going to be going. And you, you just don't know at that exact moment. You you're just got out of a crazy fight. You managed to get high ground. You know that this guy's below. 
don't see any builds coming out. So at that point in time, you're like, okay, I gotta, I gotta just heal up. I gotta heal up. That's what I'm focused on. Yeah, the problem is you can't assume anything, especially in these final moments. You don't know if you're going against a pro or celebrity. And you know, Jacob right here, traveling all the way from Poland now, to show up and, and make it happen. They, these, these guys, these orders are coming on a great performance so far. We already see something. with a pro-am, so you have to cover bios. That's what me and Shio do. We sit down even today, we go back and forth. We're talking hours of preparation on players, 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 players. And Shio, what are you doing specifically to help the casters, and, and what are you bringing to this broadcast right now? So Monster talked about preparation. For me, it's all about the back and forth. The caster needs to get the knowledge and the situation going on in the game. I've got that. We have three screens down here. One has the main game on it. The other two just have information and a broadcast alert section. If they have a question, they ask me. I've done all the prep with Monster for you know, weeks, days of cramming as well. And we just get to it, questions back and forth, relay the information, and yeah, just behind the scenes work. You're essentially the Fortnite encyclopedia then, and you are just relaying the information. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into how our casters prepare 
and bring the World Cup action to you. Um, elevate for professional Fortnite players for 100 players to play in the Fortnite World Cup. The most fun part of the journey is for me just growing as a human and as a person, like having a good time messing around. The best thing about being here for the experience for me, um, leading up to it, all the experience in the game, I can't have thought of something better to have been doing. This has been the greatest opportunity for me. If you're trying to get better at Fortnite, just uh, play non-stop. Find someone that you can think with. I mean, I know everything about this guy. He knows everything about me, so I think that's what's going to carry us. If you're trying to get better, just that's the game. Uh, a lot of things are just like, you're not the best player out there. And no, you're not perfect at any one thing. The game's always adapting. It's still really new. Just knowing that there's always someone better than you and that you can always be better is very important. I think for duos, we, we're most definitely worried about Arkham and Falcon. They're one of the best on the West. Oh. There's no way. Let it run it on. Oh my god. I got it. I got it. Why? Let go. Let go. I'm so strong. Oh my Why did they make it this heavy? Can't you know we're all like strong? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Yeah, if I win, I'll definitely buy myself a Lambo, and then maybe my brother a Lambo, and then maybe my sister a Lambo, and then maybe my grandparents a Lambo. Well, if you're on weight.
years old and his name is Michael. <laughs> My brother and I have always been competitive. We're always hanging out together. Play a game of chess. Playing ping pong. And it's always fun. My brother does a big role when it comes to my to the game so without him I maybe wouldn't have started playing the game. At the beginning we played a lot of games. I was better than him and then he just exploded and I took over. to do something which not many people can do. He's the world's best at the game. I'm really proud of my little brother. Let's go, my greatest passion is playing video games. I'm really fired up for playing in New York. I can't wait to see all my hard work pay off. Welcome back, Fortnite fans. We are gonna do something uh, very special. You know, it's been a, it's been a really cool day so far. A lot of action, a lot of fun things been going down. We got a sneak peek at it there. I think we need to. I think we need something special for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it down to Boogie's on the stage, and she's actually standing by with some very special guests for a very special announcement. Thank you so much, Zeke. I am down here. This stage, I have Ninja. I have Marshmallow here. Guys, make sure you like these two. Put your hands together, please. Now, I just want to take a moment and talk to you guys both about what the Fortnite community means. To you. Now, I know you're not going to say anything, Marshmallow, but we're going to have Ninja kind of answer for you. Now, you've been a part of this journey for so, so long. What has it meant to you? No, it's just been absolutely incredible to be in this position that I'm in and just to, to really experience how amazing Fortnite is and how far it's come from season one, before there even was a season, uh, to, to last year's Pro-Am, to this year's Pro-Am, to the World Cup. I mean, it, it's been an incredible journey, and I think it's just getting started, so but I, I, I love it. We, we love it, too. So, you know, we love to give back to the community. We love to give you guys surprises and tidbits. Marshmallow. You have a secret surprise. Do Ninja and I have permission to tell everybody here about that for you today? Yeah? 
Uh, Marshmallow is going to be doing a amazing surprise concert on Sunday for you guys. So it's gonna be amazing. So the concert is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern for you guys here as well for you guys at home. Be sure to check it out. Thank you, both of you, Absolutely. for taking the time to talk with me. Marshall, you better go hurry back to your seat. I found a stick. I found a campfire. I have some graham crackers. I just need a marshmallow. So see you guys over there. And uh, Zeke, back to you with the desk. All hands on deck, Marshmallow's performing hey. on Sunday. We get to be there, like here in person? Yeah, no, we're gonna be here. Uh, bro, I'm gonna be the guy at the front. I'm just gonna be like, uh, 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 uh. You, hey, you got the moves, I got, man. Sorry, I was going I'll for leave it. it up to you for the both of us. All right, well, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are here, and if you're tuning in from wherever, you get to view Marshmallow in concert from here, from wherever you're viewing it at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can't miss that. That's amazing. going to be insanely hype. This has already been incredible. That's a deal times 10. I mean, oh, also, really quickly, Monster, I like how I left you and Golden Boy here for, like, two games, and you've already just... Like, what is this, man? What is this? Hey, what? You know, we, we need <laughs> something that's clean. The aroma of pancakes, you know? Keep some calm. Wait, can I get this back, actually? That's actually a really good point. Anyway, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, you know, guys, we've had an incredible day of action. We've already got two prep games down. We've got two left to go. Now let's get you back up to speed just in case. Maybe you've uh, forgotten. Maybe you're tuning in for the first time. This is a very classic format. Top 15, top 10, top 5. The Beacon Royale are all the placement thresholds. And every single elimination is, of course, that one point. Let's not forget, Monster, we are playing for charity. That's right. Yes, we are here. So you want to play through these placements. You've seen up until this point, it's been very intense. Everyone has been giving it their all. We've seen it out there. Shout out to all the regions that have been representing as well because this leaderboard is looking nice. But here are the prizes they're fighting for. The charity, big first place, $1 million can go to your charity of choice. Of course, we're looking at duos competitions. They can kind of divvy that out. But everyone here is a winner, Zeke. That's right. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, right? We're playing for fun. We're playing for charity. And, of course, I mean, we've got a, a an insane roster of players from Ninja and Marshmallow, your 2018 Pro-Am champions, to RL Grimes and Airwax. They are your summer block party champions. Also, you're going to see Airwax on uh, tomorrow playing in the duos competition. I mean, we've got people from different walks of life all coming together and putting on uh, Peely outfits because why wouldn't you know? And we saw Max Carver up there for a second. He's had roles on shows like Desperate Housewives and just a ton of celebrities here kind of showing face, bringing support to Fortnite, but also doing it for a right cause, which it doesn't get any better than that. Take a look at Ashley. And exile, yeah, they're yeah. just killing you. Know, Those Cloak, dance moves. Cloak, get off your phone. What are you doing? You're supposed to be dancing. Did you not get the memo? There it is. Give the big wave to Cloak if you're out in the audience. Give him a wave, yeah. Cloak, but if you are using your phone, hashtag of Fortnite World Cup, tweet at Cloak. See, obviously he'll see it He's right there. <laughs> You know, show some love. But see, on the other end, you've got people like Bobby, right? Look at that. They're, they're forming a strategy. They're like, look, 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 this is sort of, this is where we're going. And then you've got some people that are just trying to accessorize. You know, the one, like, which back link do I want? Which skin do I need to rep while I'm eliminating the entire lobby coming out on top? It's, this is just Fortnite, right? This is kind of where we're at right now. That's right. That's how it is. Tip the tap man here. This is a powerhouse lineup we had right there for a second. We saw Dr. Lupo and Courage all kind Good to see all the buddies able to be close by. Oh, yeah, and uh, let's not forget Monster. In case you guys didn't know, it's actually Fortnite's second birthday. That's right, Fortnite is two years old. So hop in, play some games. There's some challenges. There's also birthday cake all over the map. Also, in case you didn't play the last time, there's actually these gigantic presents that land on the map randomly, and you can farm them for materials. Wait, They've got so things inside. Are we still going home Monday and, like, grinding? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's absolutely happening. I need to get the last fort bite. I need another 65,000 experience if we're, I want. We're going to make it fort. happen. Me, Bala, Shayo, Z, squads, Monday, happening. We're going to get you that out. We're going to get you singularity. I hope so, dude. I hope so. Man, but we are gearing up. The players are, of course, getting ready to board the battle bus. It takes a while to get up 100 people on the same bus, especially when you got people like Deepu Cloak. Detonator up on deck. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, my bad. My bad. I'm Don't sorry. detonate him, all right? Keep calm. 
He's been doing good so far. Oh, the ultra zoom right there. You got Marshmallow there in the back. I mean, uh, again, Sean there on the left. So many incredible people. Uh, I recognize the pink and blue hair. I can't remember his name. Oh, Ninja. That's right. Oh, that guy. Clearly, yeah, that guy. Clearly a joke. I mean, what a, an awesome gift. Uh, don't forget as well, we mentioned the Marshmallow concert. That was a big, nice reveal they did. 1 p.m. Eastern. Be here or be uh, in game. You can watch on Twitch.com, Fortnite.com slash watch. So many different avenues to I know, I know Detonator's been stealing the show, but you know, shout out to Pi Dumbum, a Brazilian YouTuber, told us that uh, he wanted to play his first Battle Royale. He won his very first match, and then he didn't win for two weeks after. Right, 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 for <laughs> sure. And uh, yeah, man, let's go. I mean, I can't stress that enough. That, that, that concert's going to kick off everything right the final day of competition really looking forward to it monster who do you think I, so we've watched two games right i mean we've had some incredible games i think in that first game sinu just caught me off guard he had control over the entire game then jacob in that last game he went head to head with cloak and tifu and he was the one that came out on top so this feels almost like anyone's game, right? Anyone can come out and win. What, what have you kind of taken away so far? No, absolutely. We saw in game one, once I saw during the, the Pro-Am walkout, if Sino and O-King were in the running, I was like, oh, snap. We actually have some stacked up teams here. We already saw what Airwax and uh, RO Grime can do. They haven't won a game, but they are in first place, as far as we know, the last time we saw the standings. Right. That just shows that consistency. We know these guys are going to continue to be consistent, but, you know, at the same time, you saw Myth pop up at the end there. You saw Nick Merck and Mario kind of pop up at the end as well. Aiden's still making his points in appearance. So everyone still has a fair shot, especially if you're in the, I'd say, roughly top 15 so far. For sure, for sure. There's only two games left. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it just takes one incredible pop-off game, right? You just drop, like, 10 eliminations. You make it even as far as top five, and you're just going to be back where you need to be trying to vie for that number one spot. Um, you know, I think for me, you know, I want to see Marcin. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, we, he's part of T1. You know, we've seen him on Qualifier long. This guy's insane. Uh, I'm just looking for even more action. I, I'm actually curious. Wow, that's so weird. I was actually going to say, is Nick A30 going to show up? Because, whoa, hey, hey. We saw, we saw Nick A30 for a while there. <laughs> I lost. Don't I blinked first. The, I blinked first. Death stare. Yeah, there you go. I blinked. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, I was actually going to say, Nick A30, you know, people like One Shot Girl uh, and Chandler Riggs, they, they are very... Alright, everyone, first one to blink loses, everyone in the stadium, here we go. That's right, don't blink, Cloak, don't blink. Oh, he blink. did it, right there, we saw it. <laughs> he doesn't know how to play this game. He doesn't know how to play. It's okay, it's okay. He tried. It's okay, you've got Xavier Woods here holding on to that belt. I wonder, do you think he would let me hold it, the belt? You know... It, it might just break something on you. It, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, man, uh, it's it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Uh, you know, earlier on, of course. Oh, there. This is the dude. I'm telling you, man. Chandler Riggs, one shot girl, two incredible human beings. Uh, also, I've seen Chandler Riggs several times now, uh, and he's just one of the coolest people I've ever met in my entire life. One shot girl, one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. Love to see it. Uh, earlier on, though, we did, you know, watch a lot of men game play, like kind of said. Um, I'd be curious to go back, take a look at some of the gameplay that he had, kind of see things from his perspective, and see uh, what was going on. And here we go. We can actually take a look at this. Uh, so check this out. Run me through this, Monster, because you were, you were here for this. Yeah, we were kind of looking right through, and actually, no, we actually get this perspective here. So just tell Myth, Myth's in his A game. Kind of see everything he's gone through, his little journey there. Oh, the cone's so clean. All the practice paying off. Oh. No, no. Hesitation! Oh my gosh, Myth is in such great form here. That's what I like to see at the pro end, showing him, showing why he is DSM Myth, right? He's been around the block for a while. He's no stranger to competition. Good to see him in his zone here. And remember, most of the time he competes, he's under the NA West versus East, right? But now he's on land. He's in the same uh, box with everyone else. This is great to see him, you know, under fair circumstances. Doing a good job. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, let's be honest, you know. The only thing that ever gets in Myth's way is actually fall damage. Yeah. He's, he's an he's incredible only... player, but fall damage, just like Tim the Tatman, it will claim both of them often. <laughs> Let's go, Myth! Get hyped, Barry! <laughs> yes! Also, Myth has this incredible dance. Do the dance! Oh. Yeah! Dude, let's go! I cannot do that. There's no way. He I, he is a significantly better dancer. I actually one time tweeted at him. I was like, hey, man, can I get some of those dance moves? 
He tried to transfer them to me. That's not how that works. He tried to transfer you dance moves. He was, he was trying to give me like a, a little bit of it, right? It just did not work for it to work out for me. But it's okay. That's all right. But, you know, we've got uh, more players. We've got Mr. Fresh Asian. That's right. We kind of watch his gameplay, tune into his, see what he's got going on. I'd be curious to see what that game looks coming out of the uh, previous two games. There's so many people, man. So many yeah, people I mean, yeah. to look at. If you want to see more OCE, we got OCE. We have everything here under the hub. The pro M is I also low-key want to see more detonator. Yeah, you want to see more dinner? Cool. Absolutely. We'll get that later too, but let's go ahead and pull up Mr. Fresh Asian. We'll see what his journey was like uh, up until this point as well. We got a nice little package of him. Look, just diving on players. Hey, you, cross the river. Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice little headshot right there. And he takes another person down. It was Greer Grammar. Oh, no. And this one, we actually caught this one live in real time. This is such a fantastic play here. Fresh Asian with the proximity launcher cracks open the build, puts the explode right inside of it, catches white, squishes all the way through. That's how good he is. And I mean, he's kind of put in a situation where he has to one v two. You know, this is this is tough to do, especially on a stage like this. You've got all eyes around the world watching you, and yeah. yet he's going to come up clutch. Now remember, it's it's there's a pro and there's a celebrity, but to just do this like as as if it was just two people who didn't know much about Fortnite, that's actually insane. That's a, that's that's a. I say confidence at its best. Yeah, for sure. I mean, listen, there's there's great Fortnite players all over the world. It extends way farther than you'd ever imagine. That's just proof right there, right? Uh, but you know, maybe uh, we'll kind of see how things are going. Of course, you guys have been waiting for games. We've been waiting for games. We know. And guess what? Everyone is on board the battle bus. Game number three of the World Cup prom is about to begin. If you guys here are excited, you need to get hyped right now because game number three is about to be underway count us in that's what i'm talking about let's go game number three and i mean look at this world cup battle bus man here it is love that new fortnite world cup battle bus and i love the fact that if you are loaded into fortnite as well you kind of see the feed coming up so there are tons of new faces kind of tuned in here uh zeke why don't you just give us a little rundown for everyone who might not know much about the program or this, how, how monumental this weekend is for the, com uh, the community in general. That's right, man. I mean, we've had 10 weeks of open qualifiers for solos, for duos across six different regions. Anyone could play. All you had to do was hit 300 points and get the Champion League in the arena format. And then you could duo up, solo games, and try to qualify. There are the top 3,000 players, and then from there we whittled it down to only a handful of spots per region, and that has led us here. And let's not forget, earlier on in the day, we even had the creative finals, right? Eight weeks of creative qualifiers, 